Today, I'm back with another mega physical media topic video for you all. Today, we're gonna be answering the important question, how can you physical media better to improve your collecting skills? To answer this important question, we're gonna break up this video into three parts. First, when can you buy physical media? Second, when should you not be buying physical media? And thirdly, when is the best time to buy physical media? Now to answer the first part of this topic question, when can you buy physical media? Anytime you want, there's so many sites out there to get physical media from. You can be shopping for physical media 24 seven. That is the great thing about living in the online age. But if you wanna go to a physical store and you wanna go on a hunt for these movies to pick out the best packaging, well then you gotta make sure the store is open. So check those store hours for the location you want to go because they're all completely different. So make sure you check your local times. Now to get into the second part of this question, when should you not be collecting physical media? Now there really isn't a wrong time to collect physical media. It's all going to depend on personal preference, but I'm just going to give you some tips and strategies to help you improve your collecting skills out there. Now, personally for me, I usually don't buy things at full price. I usually wait a little bit to get them discounted or at a sale. So just be wary that if you want to get an item, first day pickup, it's probably going to be a lot more expensive than if you waited some time on it. So just be aware of that. So if you can hold off on it like me, then go for it. But there are those times where I really want a special edition and I have to get it day one or pre-order it because if you don't, then you're risking the chance that you may miss out on it completely. So if it's one of your favorite movies and you want to get it in a specific edition, well then yeah, you're going to have to go day one or pre-order it. Now if you go day one to try to pick it up on a Blu-ray Tuesday, huh? I suggest getting to the store as early as you can, you know, maybe even a little bit early before the doors open so you're in line ready to go because if you just get there sometime later in the day, they all might be sold out and gone because you don't know how much quantity that store got in for that limited edition so if you really want it you're gonna have to get up a little bit early and get to those stores and i would check beforehand to see if those stores are actually carrying that edition that you truly want so those are just some things to be aware of when you start your collecting journey now to get into our third part of this topic question, and that is when should you be buying physical media to get the best deals out there? So a lot of times this physical media will go on sales and at a discount. You just have to do it at the right time. So I'm going to go over some of the best times to collect this physical media. If you're talking about a brand new 4K slipcover studio release or even a Blu-ray, if you can hold off on getting the movies, I would say wait a couple weeks. They often get discounted five, ten bucks right away which is really nice but if you wait a few more months they can get more heavily discounted I got Dune 4k for under 13 bucks and also in a buy two get the third one free deal at Target so I was actually able to get another movie for free which was fantastic I really like those sales and you know what this may even go down even cheaper if you wait to Black Friday Black Friday is always a great time to stock up on a lot of physical media titles of course if they're still around then so always go get your physical media titles during that time but even if you just wait a couple weeks on this you're gonna get a good little discount so if you don't need it day one then you might as well wait even on the more limited editions of movies even like a still book i got this one from best buy here but i waited a long time on this one and it went down to ten dollars ten dollars for a 4k still book you can't do better than that so always be checking those online sites in stores to see when they're having their discounts now for a criterion you want to wait till the criterion sale months we're in a criterion on sale month right now July but there's also one in November you do not want to be paying 40 bucks for a blu-ray that's so expensive but if you wait till the sale months get this at 20 bucks wow it is totally worth it even with their newer 4ks that they've been doing you think oh wow this is going to be massively expensive yeah normally it is but if you get it in the sale month you get it a lot cheaper and then it becomes totally worth it highly recommend doing that but it's not just just Criterion that's the only boutique label that has sales no there's other ones out there and usually when one 
company is having a sale, a lot of the other companies will have their sales around that same time as well. So we even have a Kino Lorber sale that's been going on. So you know what? Normally I would never test out this movie because it's just way too expensive. Over 20 bucks, like 25 bucks. No, but 50% off. You know what? I'll give it a whirl. I'll try it out for 12, 13 bucks. Yeah. Totally. So Kino Lorber will even have their sales too. And they have quite a few sales uh, throughout the year. So always wait for the sales. Get these 50% off. There's no point to pay more than you have to for this. Wait for the sale times. Even with, say, a Aero title, a nice packaging. Look at this one. This one just recently came out with the still book and everything in there. And this one was still heavily discounted during this Aero sale. So, oh my goodness, got it for such a good price, like 33 bucks when normally it's like close to double that. Woo, I do not want to pay that much for a boutique label, but in the sale months, absolutely all day, who would not pick these up during this time? Even on Shout Factory title, Scream Factory, I waited a long time on this Omen collection. I know I waited, but it was worth it. Instead of paying over 60 bucks for this collection with all five of these movies, I actually only paid 25 bucks for this set. Oh my goodness, what a great little pickup. And they even have other sales going on with Shout Factory, like a Shout going out of print sale where you can get some really, really good deals. So even movies you maybe missed out on before because they were too expensive, they have sales on so then you can bulk up your collection now. So you always wanna be checking online for those sales. My favorite place to go is actually Amazon because they'll match the boutique sales a lot of the times. So to me, they kind of have everything there on Amazon, which is nice. Also, Amazon will have random like timely discount times, also just random times with coupons. And then they even have their prime days, which are fantastic, which are coming up July 12th and 13th. So if you can hold off on getting movies until the prime days, then it's totally worth it for that because you can get brand new 4Ks, even sometimes they still have the slip covers for like 10 bucks, which is outstanding. So I really encourage collectors out there to choose your times when you're gonna collect wisely. Why? Because you're gonna save more money you get more money saved, then you can buy more physical media in the long run. So if you can resist the day one urge to pick it up, then I would say, yes, yeah, save that money, get more in your collection. Now, if it's a movie you really, really want, it's a very limited exclusive edition, then yeah, go for it, get it day one, because I don't want you to be without it, because those can sell out pretty quickly. But for the other stuff, there's a bigger quantity of, you know what, if you're okay waiting, wait for it, get it super, super cheap, sometimes over 50% off. That is the way to do it as a collector. So leave in the comments below, when do you most like to collect physical media? And if you're just discovering the channel for the very first time and you love collecting physical media and being part of this amazing mega fan community, make sure you subscribe right now to stay entertained and up to date on all the latest physical media topics. Look, there has to be another way. There is it. And if you like this physical media topic video, click another video to see more. Also, like the video, and this is Mega Mike the Movie Man reminding you to make every day a movie day.